Yeah. Okay, now here's part two of two. Now here's the thing is, okay, Zach, please understand. No, I am not maligning indigenous people. There's a lot of wisdom there. What I'm saying is this. I think people in small groups have certain traditional ways of controlling their group behavior. Okay, we're familiar with these ways because they've been handed it down, as you're saying, for these hundreds of thousands of years, perhaps maybe even longer, because we see some of the patterns, you know, in chimps and other relative animals. So some of these patterns go along a long way. And we're talking about this kind of shame, guilt, you know, the, the powers of conformity, of role playing, where people end up playing a role of the shaman, of the village idiot. We see these roles today still. And they have a really negative effect in the, in the civilization the scale of the numbers of civilized you know, populations. And they can really go rampant and be crazy. But we see these roles going back. And this is the thing. They, they, these are all ways of dampening down. Now, I love indigenous art. But how much individuality do you see in it? How many, how many of the cave paintings are just boom, totally wildly different? That's something we get from you know, the urbanized. Now you could say, oh, that comes from the urban chaos. Yeah, but this is a good aspect. You know, that 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 uh, cosmopolitan mixture of things and some of the extremity is, is really is stimulating conceptually. And so you, you see individuality in that kind of circumstances. Now maybe we're debating, is the invention of the individuality a good thing? But no, because the individuality is already in our soul. We're creating minds where we can be whole spirits and we can see things. We can be individuals and we can cooperate. That's the riddle that we're trying to answer. How can we be individuals and then still cooperate and be individual with groups around us of which we are part? How can we be individuals all the way out from us into the reaches of the universe and feel a part of our creation? And that's the sense in which we want to get back to nature. We want to have a conception, but we can't go back in time. We don't want to hurt anybody or get rid of anybody or even make them like the things we like. We all can agree to disagree. And the first order of business is just to figure out what everybody believes in the first place, man. We think we have a lot of really uh, vile contradictions that can't work out, but we just have a lot of little contradictions that are working out pretty well. And we can just, you know, we can just fold things smoothly into a way we can all be happy with more or less. And there'll be some conflict less, but we can all be even happy with that and that it'll be natural and, and, and not because somebody's trying to oppress somebody else, you know, per se. Maybe it'll be an unfair struggle, but it wouldn't be the scale of corruption that we see today. But, yeah, I just don't see the, the freedom uh, in the in, in organizing the small groups as is. You know, we need to move forward, and we do need to rediscover distributed systems and get systems that scale better. But it just doesn't scale to have, you know, the leader and the alpha male, alpha female, the betas, and all of these structures. You know, I mean, come on, we gotta break that down. We never break that down if we stay in a tribal situation. As great as the tribal situations are, believe me, I really, really, you know, I still have a lot of idealization about them. But we have to think of what human nature is, but not from the point of view that human nature can't change, but from the point of view of, well, if we get a hold of what human nature is, then we can move that. That's our spiritual body. Sometimes it's like we're disconnected from what we're really living, and we move our mind, and the spirit doesn't really follow. I mean, but if we get the realistic picture, so that we picture ourselves spiritually where we really are, then we can move, you know? And um, so, yeah, I hope you understood that. Because, you know, I think we can get some understanding out of this. Cheers.